drop shotting is a great way to put bass in the boat and it's a finesse rig. It's something that you use, you know, say the fishing's tough or you have fish that are vertical right under the boat and you want to have a bait you can drop down and uh, make them bite. Or if you're fishing it where you want to cast that bait out and work it through like deep weed beds and stuff like that, the weight of the drop shot's designed to sit on the bottom or in the weeds while the hook's going to stay up above it and uh, not get tangled up. So I want to show you exactly how I rig a drop shot using this oversized uh, string and this hook right here. So to, to do a drop shot, first step is tying a Palomar knot. So you double that line over, pass it through the eye of the hook, tie an overhand knot, open it up, pull the hook through, cinch it up, cinch it down onto your finger, and then pull it tight. All right, now, right there, I tied my Palomar knot. So I have my main line here, and this is gonna be my line that I tie my weight to. But as you can see, already, when I tied that, you know, you're, there's really no way to determine which way that hook's gonna be pointing. And as you can see right there, the hook's pointing down. So when you rig a worm on that, it's just not gonna work. You're not gonna hook the fish, and you need that hook to be pointing upward. So here's what you do to solve that problem. Super easy. I take my piece of tag line right here, and I bring it, and I pass it through the eye of the hook point first. So the side with the point, I'm going to pass it through the eye of the hook. It's kind of hard with the string. Okay, got it through there. And then I'm just going to pull it down nice and tight. And that right there flipped that hook from being upside down to now it's going to be right side up when I tie that weight to it. Just like that. Okay, so your final step, once you got your hook straight, is to connect a drop shot weight. Um, this one I had to kind of spread the, this hole open, but they make ones like this where you can just slide that line right through. I'm just going to tie one or two overhand knots. Here's number two. Okay, and that is a fully rigged drop shot. Hook pointing upward because of how I passed it down through it. That weight's going to sit on the bottom and that hook's going to be up here. And when you barely even shake that line with a drop shot, once you rig a worm on there, it just makes that worm dance and wiggle. And it's something that a bass that's finicky, even if they don't want to eat it, they're going to swim up and take that worm and you're going to catch a bunch of fish on a drop shot. So here's how to rig it with an actual, actual piece of fluorocarbon. I use that string because it's a little easier to see. Um, but this is eight pound fluorocarbon. I like to use six or eight pound line when I'm tying my drop shot. Um, it's, you know, it's a finesse tactic. It works really well in clear water, but you can fish it in dirty water and uh, with a little heavier line if you want to. So double that line over again to tie a Palomar knot. This is a little size number one split shot drop shot hook. It's a small hook and it's designed to just pierce the fish right in the meat of their mouth. So I'm going to pinch that down, pass it through the eye, then tie my Palomar knot. Open it up, grab it, pull it down. As you can see, I've tied a few Palomar knots. Now let's look and find out again the way that hook's facing. Again, it's facing down. So, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Just take that tag end that you're going to connect to your weight, pass it through the eye of the hook, point first, and pull it down tight like this, and voila. Your hook is now standing nice and straight up like that. Okay, then I'm going to attach my weight. I normally like to have, you know, a leader that's about, say, 10 to 18 inches. It's kind of a perfect leader. And with this little weight, I can just slide it up right into the notch. And then I just tie one single overhand knot. And then I take my little worm like this. This is a little Elastec worm. I'm just going to pierce it under the chin. This is how I like to rig my drop shot worm. I like to go under the chin of the worm, nice and straight. You want it to be straight so it doesn't twist your line. And then it's going to come kind of out the tip of the worm. So under the chin and out the tip. And that's a complete drop shot setup with the weight down there in the bottom, the worm up there on the hook. And when you just barely shake that rod tip, it's going to make that worm dance on that hook and your hooks pointing upward so when you go to set the hook and pull into them it's just going to rotate right into them and stick them in the roof of the mouth right by the lip every time. 